It's 8.05. It is Yom Rishon, Parshas Yisrael. And it's, I want to thank Torah in the time, Kavish Gaka Pratis, Kavashin. I want to thank the Rabbeinu Shalom for everything. Now, the Maspik Sefer Maspik Leiv the Hashem says, any betachin that the tachlis is ruchnius, it's nachin v'sholin, much more than if, if it's for gashmius, to such a degree that even if it's not such an important thing in ruchnius, but the tachlis is ruchnius, it's seven times better. That's something that's extremely important in Gashmias. Your parnas or whatever it is. If it's Ruchvias, forget it. You're going to get it big time. That's the real, real betachin. The world doesn't know that. And they say Rabbi used to tie it that people don't have enough betachin and Ruchvias as much. You have to harvest and learning, all that. But they have to have betachin that's going to work. You have betachin and Ruchvias is going to work. I know younger man who was having serious, serious, serious Ruchvias issues. And it didn't help. He's talking about addictions. <laughs> right? So he was told about this. And he wiped out the most impossible addiction overnight. Can't believe in a million years because it's all totally in a person's belief. People have more belief in addictions than in the refuah. It's a lotion of reason. The 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 tachan has to be stronger than the fear. You have to keep harboring on the tachan. Now this happened in Avadi. It's the most beautiful story you could imagine. I'm an eyewitness. I know Reb El Yishnei El Yishnei was the right hand, one of the right hand men of Reb, Reb Gershon. I mean, not that he worked together with him. He was the biggest. From the biggest kaiches of Rab Gershon. He, he was the best speaker. They used to alternate. Once one week Rab Gershon spoke, gave the Shmus, and one week he gave. And when he gave, the, the Elam came running to hear him. Rab Gershon gave the Shmus. Well, I used to go, I always fall asleep. I think Rab Gershon enjoyed watching me sleep on his Shmus, and it's exactly what he relished watching me sleep at his Shmus, and I couldn't keep my eyes open. I thought it was jet lag. But Rav Gershon went out of his way not to be exciting. I don't advise anybody to do that. We're not holding there. But it's a horror. When things don't go good, don't think, don't feel so bad. Anyway, Rav Gershon was not well for many years. He's a Zuckin in his 80s. He started having liver problems, getting worse and worse. He had trouble walking, he had pain, he had this. He was an almond, he lost his wife. He was uh, old and, you know, these Alta Yin were no one to take care of him yet. He was going, it wasn't easy. And he much as uh, he kept asking me for AIDS, says, what can he come to America? He needs an operation. The liver, the liver, the liver is not a joke. I come there one year and suddenly we've got a new rebellious day. I don't recognize him. He looked totally different. He looked 10, 20 years younger. What happened? Asiti bitachon. What? I worked on betachin. Bye. It's gone. A liver. A liver. Phew, this is serious stuff. I see the betachin. He worked on betachin and he got rid of his whole liver problem. And I figured, you know, he's 87, you know, <laughs> what he says, what really happened. Let's get this straight. He has a brother who's very on the ball. He's the real, like, oh, sharp. And with it, you can trust him. Much younger, much more, you know. Young and fresh, and he tell me what happened to your brother. He's totally cured. It's a it's a miracle. I asked him, how did you do this bitachon? I have it written down exactly what he told me. He spent months hazarding bitachon, bitachon, even when he didn't feel anything. He didn't feel a thing. Just keep doing dry. Repeat, Chazara. 
of the same betachem and betachem and betachem. Just keep repeating it. And I was told from him, plus a different deep time in the Bartigan, they both told me, and if you put time in Kachas and Betachem, you do it wrong, you do it right. The schos of being my senevich but Betachem is going to do things for you. I want to tell you something, Rabbi, say that I am confronted with very often. First of all, a lot, a lot of people out there that are hurting on Betachem, nothing happens. A lot of, probably by far more people are having Yeshua's everywhere. I've got people that are walking around, the Bali Motors. Some are sitting right here. We got Bali Mosh up and coming. Bali Mosh, and they have in their own lives, they're turning over worlds. Before I say another word, anybody who came in this weather is going to, you're coming to 100 Shmusim. You're going to get such schar for every step in that snow. You can't imagine what schusim you're getting. You can't imagine, I want to repeat that. I can't imagine what schusim you're getting. I want to repeat that again. You can't imagine what schusim you're getting for coming in such a weather to hear Dvara, to get close to the Abish. The Abish does a lot of nachas. We have to go all out there. She once found her father. Rakoma, her name was. Mrs. Shane, Allah Shalom Tzadikis. She was the daughter of J.J. Herman, Rabbi Yaakov Yaakov Herman, the off of the boss. She once found her father sitting in a corner in the house crying. She says, Papa, you're okay? And he said, does the Abish have nachas from me? He was concerned. Do you know that his anical once told me, this was a great-grandson, told me that his father, who was a grandson of J.J. Herman, asked him, how come you are the big J.J. Herman? I'm a regular, nice yid, you know, shall I'm a yid. How come you're so big and I'm like regular? So he asked him, what do you think about when you walk in the street? He says, oh, I think about my business. I have to make some money, support my family. What do we do next? And what do we do this? He says, you know what I think about when I walk in the street? How can I do a nachas ruach for the Yemishter? Let me try to find something to make Hashem happy. Rabbi say, I would encourage everybody to go right now and to say, I love you, Hashem, I think. I would like that if people told that to me. I think Hashem would appreciate that. Say it. He, he likes it. There's no question. And you get on his good side. I saw a lush in Chavis Abavis. Chavis Abavis, Shar Cheshben Nefesh, where he says, don't be a fool who doesn't recognize that everything, that you got to say thank you day and night. You're tippish if you're not doing it. You're tippish if you're not saying thank you for your eyes and your ears all day long. You're just a fool. You're a big nar. What's, up, what's with you? You're not saying thank you. You're out of it. Anyway, he says you do that. Hashem will be makar of you. I want care from Hashem. Reb Gershon, three hours before Shachar, Vani kivas alikim litai, Vani kivas alikim litai. Now, Rabbi Isai, if I said that 20 times right now, you're going to get more than all my shmuzin. I don't know if the other wants to hear that. But I would do that. That will make you really close. Most of us pass, there's no substitute. Repeat the same thing again and again. Vani How wonderful it is to be close to Hashem. That's what I like. Vani, as for me, be close to the Abish, that's what I like. Oh, you like chocolate pie. You like, now look, a black Gemara means Kervas Ali Kim, you realize, but it's not the same. I must say the truth. Uh, do we chesed all day? What do you? Yes, but it's not. Somebody's looking directly for the Abish that you can't. Nowadays, especially, you have to address the reality. Are you close with Hashem or not? <coughs> now, of course, Torah Mitzvah does the job. It's supposed to, to a degree, for sure it does. The best way to thing in the world. And I would say, if someone like Rav Scheinberg, I once saw two schmoozing together. One by Rav Scheinberg, by one by Rav Nassim. It sounded like I'm not the same schmooze. Somebody made a leak of all these schmooze around the talking. And he had those two together. And I saw the difference. Rav Scheinberg is much more, you do the mitzvahs, you're connecting with him. That's Hainuha. Want to be close to him, do the mitzvahs. That is a great bud. 
Reb Nossin sounded to me more like, go learn Musa and get close. I'm, I'm Reb Nossin, you know, I'm from those, the Bali Musa. In that area, I was given that chinuch, and I would recommend at this day and age, with halavai, 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 the black Gemara could get you at a, at a peak where you don't really need Musa, halavai. It's not so, it's by far not Pashit. If Rabbi and Cutler, who was a walking Sefer Torah, I'm talking about Abai Rava, Sefer Torah, the real thing. He was Musa or bust. He was so mocked on that Seder in Musa. That's a Yudua, all his Talmidim. He came from New York, the worst Messiah's Nebesh. He was traveling all week, turning over the world. V'chinech ha'tzmoyim, v'chinech ha'tzmoyim, in the time of the war. Came to Lakewood. Musser! Rabaran! The Godel. He, he knew Shas backwards. He loved, he oozed with his, with the Simcha of learning Gemara Taisis, regular learning. But when he came to Musa, forget it. There's something about Musa you don't replace. You need that Musa. Go for that Musa. Who knows the next world where you're going to be standing? If you could have learned more Musa and you didn't, don't listen to me, please. I'm not here to get people depressed. If you're learning Gemara, don't worry about it. You'll be okay. But I, I can't guarantee anything. Do I know? I really know what's going on. But I know that the number one issue, the way I see it, is the number one issue is don't you dare get depressed. I don't care what you're doing. Just don't listen to any schmooze that gets you depressed. That tells you, okay, I can't do that. I wish I could do it. I can't. You got enough of that stuff circling, circulating your head 24-7. You don't need Mandel to helping that stuff to tell you, no, you got to learn muscle or else you do that. I don't want to do that. There's enough of that going on. I don't think there's a shortage from the good people that are always hearing schmoozing. You don't even know how schmoozing affect you, how much depression you could get if you don't hear the right schmooze. No, 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 no. Don't listen to what Mandel said. Listen to the schmooze. So get depressed. So what? It's a mitzvah to get a little depressed so you'll be, so you got to want to, to want to be closer. It's plenty good. Don't worry. Don't worry. But, Ava became, we want to really stag and do things right. Let's try to do it right. And avoid hearing things that are not for us. But let's hope that the, talking about Musa is the, going to do something to us. If I get five minutes out of this, if whoever listens to me learns five more minutes a day of Musa, it's all worth it. In the next world, Rabbi Chukai used to scream to me again and again. He finished us 150 times. Besides being a Mokobul, he knew things when people came to him for Shalas. He would answer them before they asked him. They told it to me themselves. He was married. He told me, Musar, number one. And in the next world, you're in for a shock when they let you know, ah, uh-uh, sorry, we want to know about your Musar. That's what he used to tell me a lot. And he is a Himmelman. You know the truth. Musar is not a joke. Not a joke, but of course, everybody has his own Rebbe. Let him ask his Rebbe. Whatever his Rebbe tells him to do. I want to say Rishlim of all, but what is the right Derech? I want to say Rav Hotna. What is the right Derech? So a friend of mine asked Rav Chatzkel, what is the right Derech? You want to hear them all? Rav Chatzkel said, the more Ruchni is, the less Gash means that's the right Derech. Rav, Rav Hotna told me personally, the right derech? It's impossible to know. That's what he told me. I told me this. You can't, you can't know. You can't know. That's an interesting answer. answer. Wow. Andrew Shlomo Volba told me personally, you need a Rebbe. You get a Rebbe, you're safe. You need a Rebbe how to teach you how to learn a black Gemara. You need a Rebbe in Musa to know what you're doing, what you're not doing. It's the right thing. You got to get your Rebbe. And the Shem Ramunim says, I'm adding this. If you don't have a Rebbe, you make the Yabes to your Rebbe. I do say it's Kedai to Davin a lot to get a Rebbe. You must have a Rebbe. So important. Get yourself a Rebbe. Say Lechadav. You must get a Rebbe. Right after Shimei ben Gera was killed by Shleim HaMelech, Shleim HaMelech married Bas Pare. And Gabriel HaMelech took some type of a rod, stuck it in, in, in the Atlantic Ocean, 
or whatever ocean it was over there. What's there by Italy? And he created Rome. Is that what happened? Yep. When he married Baspare, that was it. And when did he marry Baspare? Right after his Rebbe was dead. Oh, you need a Rebbe, Rebbe, Rebbe. Always get her, even if it's not so big, not so this. You need someone to ask. I try to do that the morning bed. Say l'charav. So, look, they're all coming in. Such weather, such chusim. Look how many people we have in such weather. Such chusim. Such a beautiful day outside. Ah, I love HaKadosh Baruch Hu's snow. Let's talk about the snow all day. It's so delicious. That's why I hang around nine-year-old kids for the last 40 years. That's the best thing in the world. I hang around them. I love them. Those little kids are so delicious. They are so delicious. When they come to my class, I tell I told the parents, uh, are you sure you want to send your child to my class? Well, what's the matter, Rabbi Mandel? Well, I'd like to eat them up. Is a piece of sugar. You know what I tell parents? I admire your self-control. You, you didn't eat that kid up yet. There's a super cute kid in my school. I'm not, nobody knows who it is. So I can, he really is a dream. He's a Zeke kite. He's a Lebedic boy, you know. And Hashem gave him a certain chain. How oh, sweetie. And I see him. He's already pissed me. He's pissed my class a couple of years. Whenever I see him in the hallway, I, think, I take a look at him. Hey, they didn't eat you up yet? You're still around? I just, that's so, so. And you guess, you want to see the Avish? Still look at kids. Look at kids. Look at those sweeties. My uncle Mana Zatzal once told me a story. It was a six day war and he was depressed. It's hard to believe Uncle Manas was depressed. I'm going to tell you something about my uncle Manas. You should have a list of Giganes. He was the happiest person. He was, um, yeah, there's a book about him. You can't imagine what this is. He was a piece of gold. Nobody liked my uncle Manas. He was just like my father. My father was a not shy of holy people. Happy, happy, super happy people. They had a lot of chasidis. I hope the Lakewood Oilam doesn't mind what I just said now. I hope the Lakewood Oilam, any two laney Lakewood guys right here, can you close that door? There's too many Lake. I'm joking, I'm joking. Anyway, guess where I got my love for chasidis? I love chasidim, by the way. I have a weakness. I love chasidim. I'm nuts over there. Guess who taught me to do that? Rabbi Aaron Cutler, of course. He loved chasidim, it's a fact. He was a misogynist, all right. He loved Hasidim. It's stone. Him, the Capitan, it's uh, his sidekicks. His biggest Finkelstein was one of his men. Hasidim Shidl. Who did he go with? Cats. What was Cats? He was number He was, he was best friends. Rabbi loved them. Hasidim Shidl. Rabbi did very well with them. So that's where I got my love for Hasidim. I'm joking. I like Hasidim because maybe that those are my roots. And anyway, I like to see them. They're great. By the way, I am to like Litakas also. Plenty good. They're plenty good. They hold their own. Everybody, different flavors. You know, you ever see, you have your wife, and my wife's a great cook. And variety is the spice of life. She'd only serve the same meal every day. You know, it gets boring. So the Abish that makes variations. I like Svaradin. Boy, do I like Svaradin. I really do. I'm nuts over them. Each one has his own flavor. Spardim are so delicious. The Ruskies, oh, a dream. The Russian Jews, the Spardis, the Bukharians. Each one has his own sweetness. Those Hasidim and those Litvaks. And last but not least, the good old Harrys. That's more us guys. American Harrys. I'm joking. I'm not real Harry. Whatever you want to call me. It's all great. They're all great, good people. Now, sometimes you have an assignment. You know, if I'd be a real Navarra guy, guess what I'd be doing? I'd be busy praising all those guys I can't stand. If you ever see me get one day, and all I do is talk about how I love, you know, whatever, you can suspect me that something happened recently, and you can't look them in the face. Oh, I love them! That's Navarra. That's the way to go. You want to be a happy person? Go fight your this. You want to be like the rest of the world, like Esav of Rosh Shmurul and Etzach? You can say that to me. I can't look you in the face. No, 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 no. Don't worry. We have plenty of that. We don't vocalize it the way Esav did, but we have a part. This, this guy rubbed me wrong. He said something I didn't like. And 
He looked at me. This, and he, da, 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 da. They have to work on that. Navaradiga spent a lifetime working on all that stuff. That was their hobby. Their favorite pastime. To be nice instead of being nasty. Delicious. Sweet music to my ears. Let's have some more of that. And where did Navaradiga get it from? Take a look. Shmuel Aleph and Shmuel Beis. The whole Dabar Amelot. The beginning to the end. That's all he's doing. Busy with that stuff. No, I like him. This guy hates you. He wants to kill you. Don't bother me. I love him. That's not it. All the time. From Yo- from Avner to Shaul with Avshaul. He loves them all. That's him. What are you going to do with him? David Amal was a smart man. He was above. A Malch Malchus means you're above. Like oil. He, Mashiach, right? Mashiach. You want to be close to Mashiach? You got to be above this world. Don't fall into the, he likes me. I said something wrong. I, I know people come over to me with major issues. And another bomb is here, Snefesh. We got them all over. I must be a great speaker. I want to take credit for that one. But, I, but you, anyway, so what was I saying? Major issues. I know a lot of people like this who go bananas over relationships. My shver just said something. It kills me. It, I, 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 I said something I shouldn't have said to my son-in-law. Oh, no. Here goes our relationship. Oh, no. What did I do? Or, oh, the Rosh Hashiva just... Something tells me he doesn't like me. I didn't like the way he looked at me. He's looking at everyone else. And me, he likes... He almost ignores me. Uh, now I got, I got what's going on. Now I got it. I know the situation. I'm in his books. He has no patience for guys like me. I, this is another proof that I'm a nobody. Rashiva doesn't look at This guy doesn't think I'm much. That guy thinks I'm... So you're busy. The world says, don't build a case against yourself. And people do it habitually. All over the place. They got a whole shtick tire proving they're nobody. See, even that Rashiva didn't really like me. The guy, is, this guy, he says he does, but he does that to everybody, so that doesn't count. And this guy, this also doesn't count, and that doesn't count. The only thing that does count is, oh, now I got the truth. I find it. Now I know your tucker don't hold for me. How come you picked so and so for Shlishi, for whatever? I mean, now, now, now I know the matzah. All right, what are you doing, Neville? Oh, I never. What are you, what's the are you all about? You know when people quetch. And with aggravation, I can guarantee you, 90% of the time it comes from not having enough covered. And the Vardy is, if somebody ignored me and doesn't hold for me, they'd be dancing on the table. That's just what I like. More bazianis, come inside your side. We have the same bailam. I want to tell you something about my Vard. I am Lamalam in Atava. Somebody asked me, I'm meeting my relatives at a hospital. Oh, you know, we, we hear you on Torah any time. And you're this and you're that. And I hear all the, all the reports, what they think of me, how good I am. I'm not going to the whole business. The kids uh, they ask me, you don't prepare, do you? I said, no. It's strictly Shina, but the bears be telling you, night. Whatever comes, comes. I go to the Amish state, help, make it work. I dominate. And it works. Oh, Hashem. So, I'm so much on the Amish state. That's the way it works. So I'm on the Abishtah. So I'm on the Abishtah. Very, 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 very much totally in him. And I want to tell you, he says it, bring it down. Rav Bloch, in the Savior, Yeris Abitach, he did such a beautiful job he did. He says, if you're not so smart, it's not so capable, it's old. That makes you even more into the Betachin category. All those smart and capable priest people, don't be in a smoke from them. They're missing a lot of Amish there in their lives. Big time. Because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Huh? You guys don't know. I know how to. You guys in learning and chesed, money, I have more money. You, you, whatever it is, the Kayichi community, they have a very big Nusayin. It's Rachman Nusayin, these guys. The luckiest people in the world are those people who have zero. The less, the better. Because you've got much more Abish there in your life. And in the next world, my dear friends, 
You know, Rabbi Chi Vega, I must repeat this. Wait till you hear this one. When you leave this world, Rabbi Chi Vega has a settle that he said to himself every single day. And he said, he read it every day. That's what they say. What life is all about. You got to do tshuva and you got to move. You got to do this. And then your beloved ones, as soon as they bury you, they'll cry at your Leviah. <laughs> oh, we miss our, our dear father, our dear husband. They'll cry nice. And you'll sit there listening the way they're crying to you. They're missing you. And you might cry yourself also while you're dead. I don't know what happens to dead people. You might shed a tear also. You feel sorrow. Never fear missing me. It feels good to be missed. I don't know what goes on. But I don't want to make a crazy of things like this. You've got to be serious somewhere. But they're all crying now because we lost him. Such a dear person and all the maspidim are getting up. And the long maspidas has paid him. Oh, we just lost the great tzaddik. Are you listening? Good, good. If I'd be in that situation, I'd be dead and they'd be saying that. Something tells me I'd be jumping out of the box. I said, no, 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 I have more stuff to say. Come on, that's all you're saying about me? I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. Hopefully at that stage, I won't be that crazy. <laughs> I have other things in my mind. You gotta stand in the chashra pretty soon. You better watch what you did for every move you made. They're gonna let you have it. Life's not a joke. Oh, no, no way. Anyway, but... Rabbi Key Vegas says, every day he read this. I once heard from somebody that he had a very, very good relationship with his wife. I heard he could spend hours schmoozing with her and uh, whatever, I scuff or whatever. That's what I want. But this this letter, what he writes, a letter about his wife and kids, they're going home. They'll say Kaddish for a year, and it's over. You never existed. Get lost. They'll forget about you. They're going to go on. And your wife, your dear beloved. Wonderful wife, Tadekis. She's turning around. She's marrying someone else. <laughs> bye bye. Nice knowing you. And let's say she does remember you, my Nafkabina. What are you getting out of that? Remembers you. What are you going to get out of it? So you spend your whole life, my wife, my children, oh, my friends. They're your life. You know, your life. You come to the next world. They're not there. Where, where's my wife? Where's my kids? Hey, I need support. You know, support? I need a support. You know, everyone's running to each other because they want to support each other, you know? Support. You have to have support. You know, Rabbi Miller, they caught him at a chasana, standing alone, talking to himself. Hey, what are you doing? Socialize. <laughs> He's socializing with a Kaddish Baruch He's got one friend. The best friend is over Achamon. Get to get to know him. He's the shadish. Anything good about the people around you comes from him. Nothing like him. Hashem, you're great. I'm sure Hashem enjoyed what I just said now. I just said he's great. You know, you like you have to see things in a real way. It's true. Tell him, I love you, Hashem. I just love you. Not normal. I so you got the ABC Chapash Muzer and enjoy him. He's the Shirish. He'll give you everything you want. And what do you have to get everything you have to give? You know, you have to be thankful and enjoy having a catch with the ABC anyway. How to get to this. So I'll tell you my said. I'll tell you my said that I heard from Galinsky. I've told it over 20 times already. Here we go again. But it's such a good story. This lady was singing. And somewhere in Russia, and up, uh, up, 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 the floor upstairs, Messias Nevish, and she comes here. Look at these the sweetest guys in liquid, park themselves here. What is my mazel that all the sweet guys of Lakewood decide to come here? How do I always get the sweetest guys? Exactly all the, I don't know. I have a mazel. Anyway, so what happens? So the um. So, uh, what was I saying? She's singing, Hey, Mishtivi, good to be. Hashem, how good you are. So he goes upstairs. Oh, where's that coming from? Lady, where'd you hear that? She said she had a Nevada Bacha who stayed by her one night to sleep there. And he was boarding her, boarding house, whatever. 
And in the middle of the night, was machte kim tarayim. Was machte. So, in the middle of the night. You know, we have the same malam as usual. No, we have a real malam in Ateva. That's an old thing. You know that for two years, that air conditioner wasn't there. I had two years of Vaden with scorching, schmaltzing weather. On the weather that, you know, no Rachmanis. And the Elam was packed. <laughs> I don't know if this, I must be good. Uh, that's the real, I, I know the real reason. I must be great. <laughs> Could be the Abishta's great, no? That he sends me, he has Rachmanis on me, he wants to give me a nice Elam, whatever. And he has a, so, so what was I talking about? The, um, she's speaking, the Bach is, Hey, Bishta, I love you. Hey, Bishta, how good you are. All night long! No? That's the Vardik. <laughs> do it! Do it! And first find reason. It's not a kvetch. The kvetching is ridiculous. More kvetching. We kvetch without realizing it. All day long. This is the, mm, mm, mm. I don't like this. I don't, that's no good. No, no that, that, this, I didn't make a good impression. By the way, most of kvetching comes from the source. If you really want to know, it's covered, covered. That's where you, you say a covered aval volume two hundred times. Watch all your fetching disappear. All your problems are gone. But you got a hop. The aggravation you're having from your son or your shviga, it's covered. Or this guy didn't say hello to you, it's covered. All the same. But if you missed the mitzvah, you didn't do it. Covered, don't give me mitzvah. It's covered, it's covered, it's covered. Say a covered alavalam a couple hundred times. You're a free bird. It's gonna, it's all silly, stupid covet. Give me more covet. Nabach, nabach. Ay, oh, so much aggravation. Do you know what I go through in life? They don't even look at me and, uh, oh, what do you have? What's your problem? You're not getting covet. If you'd be in a Vardiga, they'd say, they, they, they'd say you're so lucky. Not, not less covered here, more covered there. I need covered. But you need it. Hey, what David gives me, that's what I need. That's what I want. I like what David gives me. Now, that's also there's another Nevada story with a Bacha who came into somebody's house to stay the night. In the middle of the night, he realized the husband never, he was supposed to come right home. It didn't happen, whatever. He disappeared. He went outside. He left the house. Yichud. He spent the night in freezing sub-zero Russian weather. That's another Nevada story. I might as well tell you the story with the stipler like that. The stipler was crossing the border from going from Russia to Poland with all the Nevadas. About 800 yeshiva boys crossed the border. You know what crossing the border means? Forget it. It's either bing bang or bow wow, you know? They had guns at the boy. Why are you talking? They caught you. They tortured you. Forget it. And the Vatican is 800. They went to this villa Neba. This villa was sort of a border town or something. So uh, the villa Neba went to the mikveh and he got him. He said, you're going to make it. You're not. You're going to make it. He knew everything. The Schleimkiller's villa, he was very good in the Vatican, by the way. And when he moved to Yerushalayim, he set up a, a his, his house became a Vatican yeshiva. He gave them to eat. They, they was very good. If you know about him, him and Avada goes a great shidduch. He had the world far back. Shleimkala, who was bigger than him, nothing like him. The holy Shleimkala's villa. It was very the, the style, the hatred for covid. Did they fit in? But anyway, so um, he hated. You know what he did? He left Zville. Zville was a beautiful city. I saw pictures of it. He left it. He came. To leave the whole of busy. It was a big nabba. They came standing on line, got a brach from Schleimkul. You got a brach from him. Forget it. You are, you are okay. He used to go down to the mikveh, and in the mikveh, he got all the answers. He came up. Milachai, milamavis. You know, it was unbelievable. So, um, so he, so, so the Nevadikas used to go to him, and they, they, um, to find out, are they going to make it across? And after a while, he, um, make it, so after what happened, uh, so they had too many guys, he said, you're not going to make it. So they said, no more, Shlemko. that's what I heard, that's how the story goes. We don't go to no more Rebbe's. 
We're going to work on betachin, and we're all making it. That's what that happened, pretty much. They don't go to, I know somebody went to a Rebbe about, the Rebbe told them, this one's going to die. Two people, he had two names. This one, forget about it. He was right. The next time he went to him, he has to shout again. This time they said, the person will be right, but they'll have Yisurim. He says, I'm not Makabal that. I don't care what the Makubal says. And sure enough, the Yisurim disappeared. It's, yeah, he, Hashem is bigger than all these Makabal. Anyway, so, I have here in front of me a Pusik that the Sefer Masput means brings down it's something to remember. Oh, the stipler. What happened to the stipler? He was crossing the border, and he stipler was crossing the border, and suddenly he was alone with a, the guy who was a woman. The other bachim disappeared, and he was she was showing him how to go. He said, "Yichud, goodbye." He turned around to go back to Russia. You know what Satkon is the fascist that is. You have to there. Keep moving. Yich, yichud. Boom. That, that's the stifle. That's, just, that's the Vardik. The Vardik is, they're proud of it. You know what the Vardikas did when they, they conquered Amidara? You know what they did? They made a party. I didn't yell back at my figure today. Come, let's make a party. Chaim did not yell at his figure. Chaim finally accepted this teenage son that's driving him up a wall. And he decided he's happy with it, and he's learning Musa. They made parties. That's the way I, I want to tie it. I want to tie it that, that, um, Oz Yosher is the death, not only of the Mitchin, but of the culture of the Memtashar and Tubman, the garbage can. How do you, and I want to tie it this, Oz Yvizimra's car. You know the way to get rid of all your, you know what? You think it was easy to leave Mitzrayim? Four out of five wanted to stay. And it, it did stay. They had a burium there. What's good in Mitzrayim? The Yitzhahara. That they had Memteh Shari Tum is a lot of fun. A Baisai, Memteh Shari Tum, who wants to give it up. You know, they, so how do you give it up? So you start singing. If there's a fire in Yiddishkeit, then you don't have such Nisyanis. The Shainas are not so bad because you're on fire. It's hard to get the fire. So if you don't have the fire and you still control yourself, then you're even bigger. But it's just a harder life. In the Vari, they learned Musa Bespada with such a Simcha, such a Chiyas. They sang those Yashi every day. They sang Hashem how much we love you. They were very into it. They learned Musa with a brand, with a fire. Anyway. Here's a pasuk. It's good. I remember this one. Adonai yanatzuni yomazeh. Adonai yal lo yaminu bi v'choloi zeshar sisi b'kirbay. Navarik de tevei. Why don't you have more betachin? What's with you? Look at all the nisim I'm doing for you. Why don't you have more betachin? That's the way to work on it. People think yeah, I can't relax. How could you? Okay, now I was I was mentioning something before. I may have said this a few times already. It's good. I to hear it again and again. And this is the following. Many, many people are telling me, I work so hard on Betach and I'm still... So, I have told people, you're working too hard. Chill out! Chill out! Eat ice cream, stop, close that Musa Sefer. Chill out, but I'm not learning Betach. Yeah, don't learn Betach. To God, bad. Okay, yeah, go, go eat some ice cream. Relax! Stop. I gotta have Betach. I gotta have Betach. If I don't have Betach, See, now you get the same problem. The Latvakas who aren't learning, if they're learning, and it's Gishma, Gavaldi. If a guy's a Chassid, then he's Gishma, it's good, good. But if, he, if, if he's fighting over Simcha, I'm not for Simcha enough, I'm not, he's killing himself, I'm not learning enough, and he's going all so doodle, and he's all stressed out, which is not a bad thing. To be all stressed out, it's like Nishpa, Venetial, Kim, Lysimza, you get a lot of Milamaba for being the stressed, as being a stressed out basket case in Lakewood or, or, or some other place where everyone's learning better than you and you're all stressed. That's Gavaldic is supposed to be like that. It, I don't want to say, stay like that. I may have had some shoddy. They should write on the grave. He was a stressed out yeshiva guy who didn't learn much, but 
He was so stressed out by wanting to learn like other people. He's bigger than anybody. It's not a joke. These stressed out guys are the goal to hold up the world. They, they, don't, they don't succeed. They're still trying and it's not working. The smile after 55 years, it's still not, uh, I don't, I don't come out in the pictures and they all think I'm like, you know, too serious and I'm not really the right type of person. I'm not, I'm not a personality and my jokes nobody appreciates, you know. You're one of those guys. You, you should dance. That's the best thing you can do with your life. Be one of those devils. I don't know if you should look to be like that unless you're a Gershon. Gershon could look to be like that. He didn't mind doing that at all. But also, you gotta know what you're doing. I made a recommendation. Write down all the business you get, but once a week, not more. I don't believe in more than that. Once in a while, write down all the business you're getting lately. Thanks for this one. Oh, I just said that was good. Got the business there. Just once in a while, not too much. Instead, write all the coverage you're getting, even if it's imaginary, and appreciate it. I don't know how healthy it is to make such a business out of business. You might be inviting more and more, and after a while, you'll get end up like, you know, Mavuza <laughs> Viaymed. Do you know how many people are Mavuza Viaymed in that situation in the home? I know, I know, young Gamani was Mavuza Viaymed in his family. A woman who was Mavuza Viaymed in her own children didn't appreciate her. I know a man like that, a woman like that, a few, they did. The other party was the good guy, and he or she was the bad guy. And the later years, Hashem paid back, and things turned around. All right. You have to, you have to, or whatever. Whenever you, you have a genius, it's a big zach, because... Now I'm going to tell you another zach, this half of a fellow. The Sefer Masbik says, there's no suffix. That Hashem Yisala will give the Shayfa Shleim, Shayfa Shleimus as Mavuk Hashem. No Sabik that Hashem will give those people who have Shayfas, but Shleimus, their desires. Did you hear what he said? Say for a mastic, there's no Sabik. Ki Hashem Yisala, no sin, the Shayfa Shleimus as Mavuk Hashem. You're going to get what you want. Keep going for it. Bolo Tari Masai no Yisai. Oh, the Makada Shasim Mat, Makada Shasim Nasi Arbe. And he's very big on this. stick. You'll get it. Rav Nassim told me many, many. He said like this. Lost this up the tata. Don't let go. Be in action. I'll get the tata. I'll give you everything you want. Okay. Now. Now. You want to? I'm going to tell you a I, I avoid saying that, but this one's. What is he got? Shainim and Zizel and Zelkin and Zer Zel. Sab Einu Mitu Vecha. Fill us up with your goodness. The Sab Chainu Bishu Asecha. Make us happy with your Yeshua. I say like this, Beis Hashem. If you're full with the goodness that you have, you go around so happy with what I have. And yeah, put spit it on there for half an hour every day. Baruch Hashem, this Baruch Hashem, I got busyness. But mainly the good part. You do that, sabeno, severe, with good, with the good part of your life. Then I'm getting, when I ask for some, I'm going to get a Yeshua. Because I said, no, the I'm going to be happy when I get the Yeshua. If, by the way, do you know that people, how many times people got Yeshuas? And like, Tashka, they give the Yeshua, they got, yeah, but we, now we have another problem, you know. They're so problem-oriented. How many people sit on the Yeshua and and make a big spiel about it? It's a different world. It's a big design. Do you know that the Meir Chodesh used to make a prat. He was a Sambatya Talmud. He used to make a prat where he would, when, and whenever you spoke to him, he would pause in the middle and keep you waiting. He couldn't care less. Didn't bother him. 
He wasn't stressed out about having to constantly talk. It's a big thing. From Meir Chodesh, he's famous for it. I think in Bechal Slabotka, they had this Mahalach. It kept you waiting. He wasn't, he didn't need the public to listen to him day and night. That's a big, big madrega to be like that. It's a prat. It's a, it's a Gavaldiga prat. Now, this fellow has a lot of relationship problems. And he's always saying the wrong thing. And he's always getting into sticky situations. And he's vomish a basket of nerves. For years, he's going to get heavy. He comes over to me. I tell him like this. You're going to do like this. Especially when there's, he gets together with his friends and his family. He's supposed to be. He has problems with his shve ever since they were born. He, he never felt accepted by his father-in-law. And he's ugh, his mother-in-law gives nasty remarks. You know, you know this, this guy tells me about his shvega. That she, whenever she comes to the house, and she looks around, before she leaves, she leaves a book of how to get a better organization in the house. A book of how to organize your house. She leaves it there. She walks up. And she always leaves a different message, you know. So this is a real first class figure. She knows. We're happy she doesn't vocalize it, but we get them. She's she expresses, you know, she wants very much to improve the quality of her children, you know, that the quality of their lives so she's always leaving, you know, when her daughter burns the pot, she leaves a book about how to do it right, you know. And she's always then a son-in-law. She didn't like a son-in-law's tie. And she's, yeah, whatever. Leaves episode, but then there's a new place you can go buy yourself some decent clothing so you look like a man for a change. She doesn't say it openly. She's polite. This is very polite. This is a true story. I was told this by the family, how they enjoyed whenever this, uh, and they told me that they hate this mother-in-law with a passion. They hate her. What are you going to do with her? I says, tell me the truth. Where's she coming from? Sure enough, she comes from a terrible background of Gehenna on earth. She never experienced a normal upbringing. I says, no. What are you angry at? What do you want from the poor lady? She obviously does not. You're busy being sensitive, you know. What are you being so sensitive for? Be sensitive about her feelings. And look at her as a nebuch. I know a guy, his father. He didn't like his father so much. He didn't know how to learn. His father was like, whatever didn't go well with his learning. And one day, his father also had a hard background. His father never had what he had. The father, whatever. And he, he once watched the way his father was struggling over Gemara. He felt like crying. So for the first time in his life, he realized, my father's struggling. And he saw the little boy in his father. And he started having compassion instead of, so look how he just, he had to spend a life never really being able to figure out a Gemara. Because he saw that he was struggling, easy stuff. And he saw he just didn't, couldn't. He never realized it. And his father used to act like, you know, he owns the world. And he's, he realized this man's going through. And his father used to hurt him, of course. Because when you're insecure, you hurt everybody around you. So now he understood him. It became a different relation that day on. He started loving him. He felt, my poor father, look at what he's going through. Why don't you have feelings for your father? Understand him. Instead of being, he started with me. And having issues with him. Having issues with that. Be above it. So this guy, the Shviga, drove him up a wall. And he's telling me about the Shviga. I says, tell me what's the Shviga where? Sure enough, they found out when she was nine, she lost her mother. And the next time she saw the, saw the Shviga, he saw a nine-year-old girl crying out of Leviathan. He saw the nine-year-old girl crying out of, out of mother's Leviathan. She never really had a mother. Did she know how you're supposed to act? She doesn't know. 
And the next time a Shviga started showing, giving books, he cried, poor Shvigala. She never really had a normal mother who knows how to be, be nice to kids. She's, uh, she's busy with her tactics and her mission because she don't understand. I had two such stories. I had a story with a young man whom the whole family hated like poison. And, uh, cause he was mistreating his wife. And the whole family hated him. They called me up. What do we do? A brother is such a, tell me about your brother. How did he do in his younger years? What happened with him? Well, he never did well in school. Aha. How was he socially? He had no friends. What do you want for the poor guy? Why aren't you crying for the guy? Why are you so busy knocking him? And, and look how he treats his wife. Look how he's, he's a maniac. He's taking her. She's been put away. This guy's not a mensch. Look at the person. Understand them. Look back in history. My father was good at that. The Mandels were great at it. My uncle Penny once told me, see through the person. I, my perception of my father, the way he had a great relationship with people. He loved people a lot. He used to kiss them in the streets. He, 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 you see the child in that person. See a little bubble in Nebuch who never, he's still groping and life is difficult for him. Who knows what's going on at home? You know, I remember there was somebody who was very nasty in the, I don't want to say which yeshiva. And the whole oilam had it in for him. Until I did a little Grisha Machakiri. He was like, he was a stickle macha and he was nasty, you know. He was one of those, you're not going to get a smile. That's not his thing. To be smile, to be nice. He, yeah, what do you want? And he was a, he was sort of like, uh, whatever. So, I did some research as I found out what's going on at home with his wife. <laughs> you have a wife like that? Be happy he's not worse. He's never leave the guy alone. Has a hard life. When you're done, people are kafskos. The breast of us say, instead of kas, you have compassion. Instead of kas, change it to rachmonis. Rachmonis is the opposite of kas. Have rachmonis. Look at the poor guy. See through somebody. Don't be so, you know, Asaph only sees the red. He doesn't even know what he's eating. It's red. Give me that red stuff. At least define what you're eating. That's too much depth. Asaph is plachik. They call him in Hungarian Yiddish. A plachik. That's a guy that only sees superficial. That's all he sees. He's Give me the red stuff. He doesn't know what he's eating. And Asif doesn't see through that you're not here forever. There's another world also. You don't see that stuff. He's just what's happening now. That's his whole life. You know, he's not into, he's not into seeing through what's going to be the next world. You have to account for your actions. He's not into that stuff. He's too. So you can't be like that. Don't be a plastic. See through a person. Understand him. And sometimes, now this is dangerous territory yourself. Watch out what I'm telling you now. It's a gold mine for those that need it. If you're a person that's knocking yourself 24-7 with certain things that you're not doing well at, take a look at your background and decide with that background, with whatever happened there, could you expect a, a person to be different? What do you want from yourself? Be down yourself. Look how the rest of us are into this. Be down yourself. The cops go, look where you, look where you coming from. You were the worst in the class. That to this, this, this young man that the whole family hated so much. He came up with, I said, what was the background? He had no friends. He had no social life. He had no learning. He was, he by he doesn't have a head. And he's big, all competitive brothers, all big stackers, big in learning. And he's the, the schwachster. And they hate him because he's mean to his wife. They don't understand the guy. He's going through Gehenna. He's the, he's the lowest on a, and, 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 and you're following him. He turn, made a turnaround. It could be once they started seeing good in a person, he starts flourishing, even without saying anything to the guy. See him in a good light and he changes. Same thing with yourself. Be done yourself, the cops look what I go through. By nature, I'm such a type, Hashem made me, I'm such a, 
What do you want from yourself? Leave yourself alone, Rabbi Rachmanis. And of course, I believe in holding from yourself. I once walked out, my famous story, about 25 years ago at least, about 25 years ago, walked out of my classroom thinking I'm over the hill. And so I was thinking, and the guy, young man, a fellow co-worker, comes over to me and says, and he said, you know, I think you're over the hill. Now, as soon as he said that, I got the message. When you think, people pick it up. You go around from now on saying, I think I own the world. And pretty soon, you keep doing it. And you will own the world. You don't know. They are going to melt. I once was on a plane, and I couldn't get any service on the stewards. The men stewardesses, they were all, they, 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 weren't, they were ignoring me. I just sat down and say a word. I started imagining them. Oh, I'm a Ben Teirah. These guys are never, they're my Avadim. Within a few minutes, he'll come running to me. Oh, yes, what should we do for you, Rabbi? Yes, yes. Just with your brain, when you think has such power, keep thinking positive about yourself. Keep doing it, Arba. You'll get hard for trying. It's a big schuss. You're working on, on holding from yourself. You have to hold from me. The more you hold from yourself, the more mileage you'll get. Keep telling yourself, I'm a great person, I'm a tzaddik. And this, never put yourself down. And you work on yourself. And you, you work on betachem, every hearer of betachem. So, the Alta von Nevardic, every thought of betachem is mukhrek to come true. Think happy thoughts all the time. Dream happy dreams. Don't have patience. Have patience. Have patience. Has again the same thought. But nothing's happening. Have patience. There is a yid a guy is a guy wants instant. Asa wants oil of haza. Let's get it now. A yid knows there's another world. But even in this world, kufa, have patience. Keep dreaming happy thoughts. All the yid, make a kvias. I heard once heard this from Reuben Oxley. He said, a guy that sits down for half an hour and fills his mind up positive thoughts will be the happiest person in the world. Just make a kvias. Think happy thoughts. It's magic. It's going to change your life. And even weird stuff. I heard I was a makabal from a big makabal. Even weird stuff. Happy stuff. The changing your thoughts is a big schooler. It's a siyat Because you're changing your in, in, in nature. And I, my most striking cases, I knew a see this show, divorcee that I did a lot of I did a lot for him, but he still didn't remarry until years later. He calls me up, married, beautiful Jew. How did this happen? He had a lot of serious issues. And uh, he told me he spent two weeks pushing himself to think happy thoughts. Two weeks again, just think how suddenly she popped up and lived happily ever after. good. Should be because of my marriage.